All right, good morning, fourth grade scholars of Stanford and Michigan. It is a, a blast to be with you guys here again. This is week eight of character and fitness. Sorry, I've, I've been talking terrible all day, I've been starting off with words. So I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to continue through this class. So bear with me, guys. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get started with character and fitness for today. As always, Coach P likes to keep our pre recorded days routine so that when you watch these videos, you know exactly what to expect. All right, we're going to have that music break, we're going to have our daily routine exercise, and then we're going to deal with our character trait for today. We'll get to that at the end of class. Remember, fourth grade scholars, you, you guys did a solid job last week with doing this, but remember, this is extremely important that we are completing that character uh, trait assignment. Coach P wants two to three sentences talking about that character trait, which we'll get to later. Remember, you just have to go over to Google Classroom, click on that Google Doc, and type in two to three sentences explaining the character trait Coach P will be telling you about later. So guys, like I said, you did a solid job last week, but fourth grade scholars, I really need you to continue to turn in those extra slips. It is a big part of your grade, all right? It's the only, one of the few grades you get per week. So scholars, please, please, please remember to always do those extra slips. You'll have 15 minutes at the end of class to complete that. And I expect all scholars to go to Google Classroom, click on the Google Doc and complete that. I'll talk about it more here later. All right, so let's get started. Our always, like always, we'll get started with some music. I'm gonna give you a two minute music break. You don't have to pause uh, the screen. I'm gonna put up a two minute time card. When that two minute time card goes down, my voice will come back. And when my voice comes back, you know your two minute music break is, is over. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you back here in two minutes. Michigan, Stanford, your two-minute music break is over. You should be returning to your computers. It is now time for our daily routine exercises, all right? Your two-minute music break is over. My voice has reappeared, and it's time for our daily routine exercises. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds to come to your feet, move any furniture that's in your way, all right? Make sure you get a good stretch as you're coming up to your feet, all right? Prepare yourself, all right? We're going to get started with our daily routine exercises, all right? As always, Coach P just started a routine where he's picking a coach of the week every week, all right? So if you want to be a coach of the week, you know that you got to have solid internet so that the scholars on call and Coach P can hear you clearly. But you also need to know the, the I guess, the order of the exercises we're doing. So remember what exercise we're doing and how many we're doing, all right? So pay attention to that if you are one of the scholars that desires to be a coach of the week. So we're going to start off, as we always do, with some jumping jacks. All right, 10 jumping jacks. When Coach P says go, each color of Stanford and Michigan would do 10 jumping jacks. All right, ready, you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, good job, Michigan scholars, Stanford scholars. We're off to a great start. 
all right, got the energy flowing through our body, remain stretched out, all right, you want to try to stretch in between every exercise, stay loose, you don't want your body to tighten up, what is it, 11.25 in the morning, so it's still pretty early, all right, body's not fully waking up yet, we haven't even hit the afternoon, so continue to stretch between every exercise, we are going to do our second set of jumping jacks, so when Coach P says go, East Scala of Michigan, and Stanford, we'll do 10 more jumping jacks, all right, ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, fourth grade scholars, we have made it through our first of five daily routine exercises, and we are off and running. We are heading to our second daily routine exercise of the day. Scholars that desire to be coach of the day, that second daily routine exercise of the day is squats, all right? As you know, squats, we start off with our hands standing out, and we go into that sitting motion over and over again till we get to ten, all right? So let's get started with our squats. Let's get those arms out. And when I say go, each guy will do 10 squats. All right, ready you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, fourth grade scholars, we are halfway through our squats for today. Since Coach P some energy. Come on, say Coach P energy. It is tough getting through these squats. My legs are always so sore. I do squats with all of my classes. All right, two sets at 10 reps apiece. So my legs are sometimes giving out. But if you guys send me some energy, I can get through our second set of squats. So let's get our arms out. When Coach P says go, each fourth grade scholar will do 10 more squats. All right, let's get our arms out. Where do you go? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, fourth grade, we are through two of five daily routine exercises. We're off and running. Speaking of running, I right, pun intended. Speaking of running, we're about to get into our running exercises for the day. That first running exercise, remember, we are jogging in place. All right, we are jogging in place. Coach P is setting that time, and we're about to get ready to jog in place. All right, so when I say go, each fourth grade scholar will jog in place for 10 seconds. All right, ready, go. Jog, jog, jog. All right, fourth grade, there is the buzzer. You have jogged in place for 10 seconds. Take a bit of a break. All right, stretch your legs out, whatever you have to do. Whatever body part is aching a little bit right now, give it a good stretch. And we're about to get into the part of today's running exercise when we run as fast as we can. Fourth grade scholars, make sure you're working on form, all right? The pros and cons to running in place is the con, obviously, we don't know how fast we're moving, right? We're not running direct or we're not moving our feet, actually moving our feet. Uh, so we don't know how fast we're moving, so that's kind of a con. But the pro is you get to work on your running form, all right? A lot of times when we're trying to run as fast as we can and we're moving, we're not thinking about our arms being all over the place and, and really slowing us down. You want to keep your arms strong and explosive, all right? Make them straight, strong, and explosive. This allows you to run quicker, less body movement, all right? Your hands are not all out here. Your hands is not just flopping. They're strong and they're explosive, and they're allowing you to have more speed. So we're working on running speed when we're running in place. That way, when we're actually running, our second nature to us, right? Our body is not even thinking about it. We're not having to think of much of keeping our arms straight. It's just a, a, a learned body movement. All right, so let's make sure we are working on that. All right, Coach P is setting his timer. And when I say go, each fourth grade scholar will run in place as fast as they possibly can. All right, ready, go. Uh, timer wasn't set. Sorry, fourth grade. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. All right, the timer is about to be set now. So when I say go, each scholar will run as fast as they possibly can. All right, ready to go. Sorry about that. All right, and now the timer is over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that mishap. I know you guys. A lot of you guys probably took off. And I made you stop, so I'm, so I'm very sorry about that. But we have now completed our third of five of our daily routine exercises, all right? We are moving down to some wind down exercises. Coach we always like to explain why these wind down exercises are in our exercises, all right? We don't want to have five intense exercises, all right? You see Coach P is out of breath. What if he had to do another intense exercise that continues to let him be out of breath, all right? Then his body would be beat and wouldn't want to work out the next time around. So we got to make sure we are putting exercises in our routine that, some are very intense, like running, but some is also relaxing, like arm winds, but also are helping our body to uh, get to whatever physical point we're trying to get it to, all right? 
So we're going to start with some arm lines. Coach P is going to say go. We're going to do five forward arm lines. And Coach P is going to say backwards. And we're going to do five backward arm lines. All right. So get those arms out. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Take a bit of a break. Keep those shoulders loose. Keep those arms loose. We have one more set of arm lines. We are going to go forward five times. Coach P is going to say backwards, and we're going to go backwards five times. All right, Stanford, Michigan, get those arms out and ready to go. One, two, three, four, and five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, we are almost done with our daily routine exercises, Stanford, and Michigan. We are done with four or five. We have just one more exercise left to go today. That exercise is the upper body wind. Remember, upper body winds, we start with our hands on our hips, and we go in a circular motion over and over again, all right? So we have two sets of those at 10 reps apiece. When Coach P says go, we'll knock out that first set. All right, we're doing 10 upper body winds. All right, ready, go. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's take a bit of a break of Stafford and Michigan as we are coming up on our last daily routine exercise of the day. We have just one more set of upper body winds. After this, we are completely done working out for the day. For first dollars, I am so proud of you for being able to get through this exercise for the day. And we have just one more set. So let's stop talking and get right to it. I'm going to start with our hands and our hip. And when Coach P says go, East College is going to do 10 more upper body winds. All right, ready to go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, four first scholars, you can return to your seat. I'm going to always just send you energy right now because I know you guys did an awesome job with this pre-recording video and you participated and did every exercise, all right? Again, scholars, who wants to be coach of the week on Wednesday or Thursday, make sure you pay attention to the order of the exercise we did so that when you're being the coach, Coach P don't have to help out at all and you just purely take over, all right? Also, to uh, scholars, remember when we're live, we have to have those computer screens on. I see when I'm putting in my information for non-participants, I see a lot of scholars from Stanford that was on the list that I put in. And I, I want that number to be considerably low this week. All right. So let's remember to keep those cameras on and not end up on our non-participation list. All right. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the character side of class today. Uh, guys, remember this character class part of class is a we have an exit ticket. Uh, connected to it so you're going to go over to google classroom you're going to click on the exit ticket label for today and you're going to type two to three sentences talking about teamwork all right teamwork i want you to tell me a time when you worked in a team right why did the uh, why did it have to why did this assignment or task have to have two or more people and then how did you feel after completing this teamwork teamwork and assignment so fourth grade if you're trying to think hmm what what is working in a team i don't know if i ever done this most of you all of you probably have worked in a team before, especially if you play, if you play any sports. I myself played football, right? Uh, very team-oriented sport. So everything I did in football was always to, for the betterment of the team. I had a lot of personal goals, right? But I always knew that if the team was going to be successful, I had to dig into the team and do whatever the team wanted or needed me to do to win. Obviously, I can't throw myself the football and catch it. I can't hand myself off the football and run with it, right? I can't throw myself the football and run and get it, right? So... I'm always dependent on teammates, and because of that, I had to gear my mind towards working in team. And even like when I was in college, and I had group assignments, right? The group assignments when everybody does a little piece of work, and then you put that work together, and it becomes this massive, massive, master, masterpiece of a work, right? So just think about a time when you worked in a team. It doesn't have to be in school. It doesn't have to be sports. It could be something you did around the house with your siblings when you guys worked together to clean the house or something like that. All right. So the the exit slip is on Google Classroom. You're going to go over to Google Classroom, click the exit slip label for today, tell Coach P about a time when you worked in a team, why did the task 
uh, required two or more people? And how did you feel? All right. Every time I worked in work with a team or completed an assignment with a team, I always felt good because I'll always be wild that I can do this little piece of work and somebody else can do a little piece of work and another person can do a little piece of work. And we put those pieces together. And like I said, they become this masterpiece of a thing. So I always felt good after uh, uh, most most things that you work in the team for is you work. It has to be multiple people because one is too much for one person, right? Like I said, playing football, I can't throw the ball up in the air, run and get it and run and go get a touchdown, especially if I'm playing against an actual team, right? So let me know. Again, I'm going to repeat that again. Go over to Google Classroom, click on the Google Doc, the exit ticket label for the day. It'll have a Google Doc in it. And write in that Google Doc two to three sentences talking about a time when you worked in a team, all right? Tell me what tasks were you working on? Why did it require a team to complete? And how did you feel when you completed this task? You'll have 15 minutes for Parade Scholars, 15 minutes to complete this exit slip. It is two to three minutes, 15 minutes. The exit slip is due at the end of class. It is very important that all scholars in Stafford and Michigan is heading over to Google Classroom, clicking on the Google Doc, I mean, clicking on the exit slip, opening up the Google Doc and writing two to three sentences, telling me a time when you work in a team, how did you uh, how did you feel when you completed the task? Why did it require teamwork? And what task were you working on? All right, guys, I'm going to head out. You guys have 15 minutes. I'm going to put up that time card. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have to pause me. When that 15 minutes is over, you'll hear my voice come back on call. And then you'll know that your 15 minutes and your exit slip is done. And it's time for you to return to your homeroom teachers. All right, go ahead and work on that exit slip now.
All right, Michigan. All right, Stanford. You should have completed the exit slip and turned it in. It is now time for the end of character and fitness for today. Uh, Stanford, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Michigan, I will see you guys on Thursday. Again, I hope all scholars completed those exit tickets that was assigned for today and due at the end of class. I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday and Thursday, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.